Hey guys, as we get started the free online coaching classes for the JAM examination, this video will be the lecture 2 on this series. And the topic is the stereographic projection as one of our viewer Mr. Arya Kannan has already asked for it. And if you see the previous year questions, for the last 6 years there have been 6 questions has been asked in the JAM examination. And most of the questions are from the structural side and few are from the crystallographic side. And we will be covering both the structural questions also as well as the crystallographic questions. So let's get into the topic. Welcome to my channel Success Guru and myself Panchanadam and the topic is stereographic projection. The stereographic projection helps to project a sphere on a plane. That is a three dimensional object can be projected into a plane sheet with the help of the stereographic projection and also it find use in diverse field including complex analysis, cartography, geology and even photography and in practice it can be carried out by computer or even by hand with the help of a special kind of graph which is called as the stereographic net. And actually there are two type of net, one is called as the equal angle net which is also called as the wolf net and the other is the equal area net also the, called as the smith's net. The equal angle net will look like this and which preserves the angle property that is if you trace a line from top to bottom and wherever you measure the line will give you the same angle throughout and that is the angle preserving property and in general crystallography the orientation of the crystal as well as the angle between the faces or the main importance so the crystallography people generally use the equal angle net that is the wolf net and the equal area net that is the smith's net will look like this and that preserves the area that is if you measure a box in any portion of the sphere the box will give you the same area and in general the structural geology people use this type of net that is the equal area net. The equal angle net parts are like this that is the outermost circle is called as the primitive circle and the line that starts from the north pole and ends at the south pole is called as the great circle and the highly curved short lines are called the small circles that starts from the primitive circles and end at the primitive circle itself. And for plotting, we can only draw one side of the sphere in the plot that is preferably the upper hemisphere on a crystallographic portion. Because a sphere consists of uh, two hemispheres that is two halves, so only one half can be projected in this stereographic projection. And for crystallography, we are preferring the upper hemisphere. And the crystal face can be marked by a dot and that dot is called the poles. And the continuous line on this projection represents the presence of mirror plane. And the dotted line on this projection represents the absence of a mirror plane. And for symmetry there are few symbols that is here that the two fold symmetry looks like a lens and a three fold symmetry will look like a triangle and a four fold symmetry will look like a square and a six fold symmetry will look like a hexagonal and these other things. And for the projection as we had mentioned the for let's take a cubic crystal and if you see we are plotting the upper hemisphere. So this will be the top portion that is the 0, 0, 1, right? And the bottom will exactly lie here and that is mentioned as a circle here that is 0, 0, 1 bar. And the front portion is A1 that is 1, 0, 0 and the back one is 1 bar 0, 0. And the right one is 0, 1, 0 and the left one is 0, 1 bar 0, right? And this is how the faces can be plotted in a stereographic tent. And for the isometric system, you know there are 9 plane of symmetry in which 3 are crystallographic plane and 6 are the diagonal plane. The 3 crystallographic planes are the first one is this one, the outermost circle that is the primitive circle. And the second one is the vertical line and the third one is the horizontal line. 
and these three are the three crystallographic axes sorry three crystallographic plane and there are six diagonal plane so this is the first one and this is the second one and this is the third one and this is the fourth one and this line is the fifth one and this line is the sixth one and all the six are the diagonal plane of symmetry and you know there are 13 axes of symmetry in which three axes of fourfold symmetry that is the crystallographic axis and four axis of threefold symmetry and six axis of twofold symmetry and as you know the fourfold symmetry is represented by a square so this is the first crystallographic axis that you can also compare with this and this is the second crystallographic axis of threefold symmetry and this is the third one that is only one side is visible that is the top one and the bottom will lie exactly here so that is not that cannot be plotted here so this is uh, one plane this is the second plane and this is the third crystallographic axis of fourfold symmetry and there are four axes of threefold symmetry and you know for threefold symmetry they are using the triangle so this one this is second and this is third and this is the fourth and uh, these are the four axes of threefold symmetry and there are six axes of twofold symmetry so this is the first one and this is the second one and the third fourth fifth and sixth only half portion is visible and the second half is just in the bottom hemisphere so these are the six axes of twofold symmetry first axis of twofold symmetry second axis of twofold symmetry third fourth fifth and sixth axis of twofold symmetry so this is how the symmetry fold symmetry is represented is it clear and if you want a complete demo on this just mention it in the comment i will do it in the later videos and for the equal area net the parts are named as same there is no any confusion and this will look like this and for plotting we can only draw one side of the sphere in this plot preferably for lower lower hemisphere for crystallography we prefer the high upper hemisphere and for structural geology we prefer the lower hemisphere the equal area net and the equal angle net are equally satisfactory for many purpose in structural analysis but we still prefer the equal area net because the equal area net data can also be easily analyzed using statistical analysis and this has been mentioned in the book structural geology by billings and I have given the page number also. So the planar future is plotted as an arc and the linear future is plotted as poles in this structural portion. Okay. And if you see this is a planar future that it has a strike of north 50 degree and the dip of 45 degree. So the dip angle is measured in the circle that you can see here the greater circle so using the greater circle the dip angle is measured and it is plotted here so if it is highly dipping so the curve will be closer to the central line and if it is low dipping the curve arc will be towards the outer that is primitive circle so this will be the zero and the center will be 90 so this will be 0 10 20 30 40 50 if you come here this will be the 90 line that is the straight line okay so according to the inclination that is the dip angle the line will be marked from this side and in this plot they had plotted both the planar as well as the linear structure in this the fault plane is the planar structure and the slack and side is the linear structure and the fault plane is mentioned as an arc in this projection as well as the as well as the linear structure that is the slack and slide has been marked as a point in this projection so this is how the projections were has been projected in structural geology portion and if you want a complete demo on both the projection just mention it in the comment section i will do it sooner and i have grouped the videos according to the category in the playlist that you can check it anytime and you can also connect with us through mail facebook and instagram and these are the links 
and you can also support us by like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a great day